Hey there, Lynn Allen here. Welcome to another AutoCAD tip courtesy of the amazing Catalyst magazine. I heart Catalyst, hopefully you do too. All right, so two weeks ago, I shared with you a tip that had to do with named views, right? I showed you all the basics, how to create a, na a named view. And I promised you that two weeks later, today, that I would be sharing with you a top secret thing that you could do with named views that only AutoCAD gurus know about. Oh yeah, and I'm sure the anticipation has been mounting ever since. The time has come. Oh yeah, I'm gonna tell you. Okay, this is what else you can do with named views. You can save the layer settings. Oh yeah, it's kind of like a combination of the layer states manager combined with saving a specific zoom window. It's awesome. Think of the possibility. So not only are you moving from one section of the drawing to another using named views, but you're also automatically changing the layers. Ah, oh, the power. So let me show you how to do it. It's super easy. All right, let me show you how to do it. All right, so I'm zoomed almost all the way out right now. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go to the view tab on the ribbon and I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna just switch back over. It's already set, I'm gonna go to the pool. All right, so a previously saved view, a named view called pool. All right, and if you don't know how to do that, oh, back up to where we were a couple of weeks ago. All right, so now what I'd like to do is I would like to save another view of this pool, but I don't want those boulders in there. I want to turn off that boulder layer. I'm going to freeze that boulder layer. I'm going to go to the home tab on the ribbon. I'm going to go ahead and click on the lay freeze option, and I'm just going to get rid of those boulders. They're bugging me. Get away. Get out. <laughs> And now I'm gonna go back to the view tab on the ribbon and I'm gonna make a new view and I'm gonna save, make sure the layer settings are saved with it, all right? Now, if you're in 2019, remember you can go straight to new view just by clicking on new view. But if you're in 2018 or before, which is probably most of you, uh, you'll have to go to the view manager and click on new, all right? A couple extra clicks, unfortunately. All right, let's call this view um, pool without boulders without borders or something all right and remember I let's not worry about anything else in this dialog box except for I want you to click on this arrow that's very important because underneath this arrow you will see this awesome option for save layer snapshot with the view okay whenever you do that it's gonna take a look at whatever layer settings you have and it's gonna save that with the view as well awesome sauce oh yeah all right I'm gonna go ahead and say okay and I'm gonna say okay I'm going to go in the layer manager and I'm going to, um, let's unfreeze that layer. Let's bring that back. It must be this guy right there. Bring it back. My boulders are back. All right. And let's go ahead and just do a zoom extends or something. I'm zoomed back out. And I'm going to go back and I'm going to take a look at, it's like a pool with, that one has boulders, right? And then here's pool without boulders. All right, <laughs> that's cool, that's very, very cool. Oh my God, that's so exciting, let's do that again. And you know, it's not uncommon for people just to go ahead and save views instead of layer states, maybe you have the whole entire drawing. Maybe I wanna save the whole entire drawing without any plants in it, for example. So I could come up here, I could do the same thing I did before, I could do my layer freeze. What is it I don't wanna see? I don't wanna see any of these guys. I don't want to see any of these guys. Whatever the situation is, I can zoom back out and I might want to make a, a view of the entire drawing that just doesn't have any plants on it. That's another option for me, right? Okay, so I'm going to come back up here. I'm going to go to view. I'm going to say, I'll do it the shortcut this way. I'll say new view. And in this situation, I'm going to say, um, let's say all without, it would help if I could type <laughs> without plants. You can call whatever you want. I have save layer snapshot with the view. Okay, all right, let's go back into the layer manager and let's go ahead and turn all of those guys back on. I'm just gonna, let's see, which one was it? I think it was all these plants down here. These guys, these guys, how does that look? It looks pretty good, that's most of them. All right, so they're back on. So once again, I can zoom around, I can go, let's take a look at the house. I can take a look at my, um, my pool without boulders and I can also, go to my all without plants. So those are options for you. You can see how you can really start to control your named views and start to control your drawing so that you can spend less time flipping layers on and off. Because let's face it, that's so boring and tedious. You can set these guys up once and then you're done with it. And you can just very quickly go from one named view to another. You saw how easy that was, okay? All right, awesome. Now you know the top secret tip. 
All right, so next time, I'm not done with named views. Next time I'm gonna show you something that you can do inside of AutoCAD 2019, which is pretty, pretty awesome. I was gonna say freaking awesome, but I wasn't sure if that was acceptable, but then I went and said it anyway, because <laughs> it is. Very, very cool feature inside of AutoCAD 2019, and that will end off, that will end everything that we have to say about named views. All right, we'll be done with named views, at least for now. All right, have a great rest of the week, and I'll see you back here in two more weeks. Peace out.